my life today. Through Christ there is victory. November the 9th. Victory in the conflict. Thanks be to God, which gave it as the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 Christ has power from his Father to give his divine grace and strength to man, making it possible for him through his name to overcome. All are personally exposed to the temptations that Christ overcame, but strength is provided for them in the all-powerful name of the great conqueror, and all must, for themselves, individually overcome. He knows every trial and sorrow of childhood and youth. He was once just your age. The temptations and trials which come to you came also to him. The sorrows which come to you came to him. But he was never overcome by temptation. His life held nothing that wasn't pure and noble. He is your helper, your redeemer. His heart of divine love and sympathy is drawn out most of all for the one who is the most hopelessly entangled in the snares of the enemy. With his own blood he has signed the emancipation papers of the race. Jesus doesn't desire those who have been purged at such a cost to become the sport of the enemy's temptations. He doesn't desire us to be overcome and perish. He who curbed the lions in their den and walked with his faithful witnesses amid the fiery flames is just as ready to work in our behalf, to subdue every evil in our nature. Today he is standing at the altar of mercy, presenting before God the prayers of those who desire his help. He turns no weeping, contrite one way, the souls that turn to him for refuge. Jesus lifts above the accusing and the strife of tongues. No man or evil angel can impeach these souls. Christ unites them to his own divine human nature.